Hey everyone, this is Blackbinder, and welcome back. Sorry about that, I had to go upstairs real, real quick, and we were right, we were at 34 minutes anyway, so I figured uh, you'd be okay with it. <laughs> um, all right, let's continue going through these items. Fire Dragon Shield, not for us, uh, but let's look at the special effect anyway. Uh, some of these artifacts, if you don't usually get very far, you might not see very often. But anyway, 30% chance that you'll breathe fire in a cone at the attacker if within range 6. This can only occur up to 4 times per turn. How much damage does it do? Doesn't say. Okay, but if you're blocking a lot, I mean, it could be a decent amount of damage. I don't know. I've never built around the fire dragon shield before. The calm, decent if you're going lightning damage. Uh, Dispeller's robe... Of Linanil. No. Let's keep going through it. Lightning Python. Possibly no. 14%. No. It's going to have to be very good gloves for us to actually switch. Four, 15 armor. Not bad. Brand Ward. No. Spectral Cage. We actually might use this. Let me check ours out first. Really the only thing that this gives us that we really, really need is the 7 light radius and 5 crit chance. The 4 spell power at this point isn't, it's not a super high amount. So let's check this out. 20% cold resistance, 10% cold penetration, 15% cold damage, 10 spell power, 5 light radius, and it can be used to release a will-o'-wisp that will explode against your foes for 546 cold damage. So... I will be using that because the usability plus the actual casting stats on it are better than the one I was using. Persistent Will, it's arcane disrupting so we can't use it, but uh, I think it's supposed to just charm magic enemies around you. I've never actually been in a situation where I could use it. I have, but I didn't have it on at the time. Alright, where is our Will-O-Wisp cage? Our spectral cage, come on. I suck at finding shit on my bars. There it is. All right. Let's shoot around the corner. Oh, he is a curse, so let's back up. Let's throw in you and you. We are at full souls, so we don't actually need to use tortured souls at all. Or torture soul. Tortured souls sounds like it's a nice move, but no, we are torturing the soul. <laughs> I don't see any mages, so we'll just have to use it on a skeleton warrior. Then we'll just blow it up instantly. Throw out our new Will-O-Wisp. Let's actually look at his talents. Uh, oh, wow, he gets Bone Shield, too. Awesome. So that means he won't die, plus he gets a Virulent Disease. Uh, whenever you deal non-disease Blight damage... Oh, okay, so, no. It'll never go off, because he doesn't do Blight damage. Explode against one target for 595 cold damage. Did it actually go off? Yep. Why did he do partly Blight damage, though, is what I want to know. Huh. Maybe Blighted Summoning makes some of their damage. Oh, uh, I bet that's what it is. It converts some of their damage to uh, Blight. Otherwise, how would Virulent Disease ever work? And it doesn't work on my Skeletons because... The Virulent Disease is if they didn't fit in to any of those categories, I think, on the Prodigy. So let's, let's see. Summon him, inspect, attack. There's no damage conversion that I can see. Let me check it out real quick. Blighted summoning. Yeah, summons will gain 10% blight damage conversion. Okay. So he can do virulent disease when he explodes, but that guy must have resisted it or it didn't work. 
Right, what level are we on? This is the last level we have to get stronger. So, because then we're going to go after Urkus again. Winter Tide Vial is really good. File. How do you pronounce that? Is it file? Why can't they just say vial? Like a normal person. The guy who made this, I think, is French. Dark God. So, maybe that's why. But I also heard that the item descriptions and lore were done by other people, so... I think for the cultists' lore, the uh, cultist expansion lore was done by Liberty. I think it's Liberty Aether. And they are actually, I've said this before, but they are actually an, an actual like hentai script writer, I think. It's something like that. They told me before, but it's such a specific thing. I, don't, I, I probably got it at least partly wrong. Blow them up. Probably stay out of this one if it's the one I think it is. I think it's the Poltergeist. Yes, it is. All right. Moving Etherial Elvenwood Staff of Breaching. So we might actually be able to use that. Let's teleport away. And we are silence. Get rid of the silence. Oh, no. He mana clashed us. Okay. So let's get some of our mana back. Quit pulling me towards you, please. And blow them up. Consume soul just to get even more mana back. The The most annoying part about this freaking vault is that the shadows go through the wall, so you cannot auto-explore and auto-rest. You have to either leave to auto-rest or just do it in little, like, ten turns at a time. It's super annoying. Watch. See? Shadow. Oh, he wasted his meteoric crash on a... Shadow. Tried to summon us back. He must have battle call. Yep. He is a bulwark gloom slash or bulwark cursed slash looks like some type of rogue. Or maybe he's just a bulwark and uh or a marauder or something. Alright, where do we want to go from here? Summon some treants, give us a little bit more time to do something about him. Poltergeist, Perseverance. Alright, I thought these were awful, but apparently they have a chance to do any random gem. gem. So, like, I had gotten the same three enchantments every single time, which were always level one uh, gem enchants. So I thought it was just always level one gems, but apparently it's random, so... Which is insane. It could be insane. It, the the chance that you actually first get an item that you want to use, and then on top of that, get a gem that you can use is pretty rare. That's why I said in the beginning that staff is a possible contender. All right, we want to put our trees up there. We do not want him to get out. He baned us. Should really move out of the bane now that we know it can affect us more than once. I wonder, can we Lord of Bones our tree? Nope. Come on. Die already. Why are you not dying? He's at 35% life. Good job, Skellington. Alright. Oh, we didn't even ever kill the staff. It teleported away. God dang it. So we're going to have to chase it all the all the way throughout this level to actually kill it. <laughs> if we can even find it. Wait. What is that over there? Belly Daba the Banshee. How can I even... Oh, because it's undead. I was like, my... My minions are nowhere near it. Alright, we're frozen. Let's teleport away and kill it. Get rid of our 
digging. For some reason, I can't shoot into the wall. Can't summon my pets either when I'm iced, encased in ice. You know what? It's too much of a pain to fight him. Right there, so let's let's let him come out. Summon our dread too. Since uh I wanna get rid of that corona and him of shadows. Alright, let's try this again. Now I can actually hit you. <laughs> Why is my pet all the way over there? reason he heals so much as he is an anorithal or she it's a banshee I guess that would make it a she there we go he actually did it he dispersed him her all right they're dead we are blood locked at a low amount of life though okay there we go Where the hell did that uh, staff go? That's what I want to know. I should be able to see it, though, because I've got pretty decent uh, telepathy. Or whatever, see around me. Telepathy means you can see whatever they are in a radius 10 around you. Like if it's t animal telepathy. But my spectral sight should be able to see it. Actually, it's a poltergeist. That would mean it's undead, right? Or is it a living thing that is being possessed? Well, I think we got to give up. I can't find it. Next level? No, we want to get out of here. All right, heroism. No, used to be decent when it gave you stats, but now it just gives you life. It's like, look at this. Negative 600 gives you 600 life. Well, a regeneration infusion, or no, let's just go straight up. A healing infusion will do about 300, a decent one. And it's got a cooldown of 10, so you can use it about three times in the same amount of time you can use this. And there's no duration either. You just heal yourself. It's just not worth it at all. The 29 cooldown, like if that was a 10 turn cooldown, yeah, I'd probably use it. And maybe take the duration down to 5. Give it a 50% uptime. It would at least let it be more useful in my opinion. Let's say level 3 gem. It's got the all, all the stats and this is a level 3 gem as well. unfortunate I don't think we're gonna actually get anything we can use here wintertide vial can be used to cleanse your mind of up to five based on magic detrimental mental effects so we will take it just in case the only issue is you can't use it to clear sleep because you can't use items while you're asleep all right well, are we ready to go die again? No, evade them. Evade! Alright, god dang it. We have zero uh, souls. How did that happen? So let's go... Where was it? Gollum Graveyard. I made the mistake of grinding these coffee beans into powder and it makes it taste like ass. 
I think you're supposed to leave it in a little bit bigger pieces. Actually, no. The idea here isn't just to kill them. I'm trying to actually get souls. So what I need to do is hit them and then torture them and then kill them. Can also do... Where the hell is it? Where's my impending doom? I must have dragged it off my bar somehow. Because remember that has a chance to strip souls as well. This realm, or this zone, can be very difficult. These golems seem to be a lot tougher than, uh, I think it's just because they, they have, uh, you know, I don't know why. I think it's because everyone in here is probably a rare or higher, but I don't know exactly what makes them so difficult. For Urkus, we do not want to summon our pets as a thing. Because that's just going to cause us to die quicker. At least we don't want to summon them around us. So maybe we can get away with using the, uh, the trees. Or the skeleton warriors maybe. Actually I can get some souls up here too. I can get about five actually. Or six. This is the tinkerer's place by the way. If you've never been here. The when you ask the Tinker Escort where he learned his craft, this is where they take you. Well, I think it's actually a girl. Let's see, we got anything? Nope, he won't let us shop from him until we actually spend a point on tinkering. That's not supposed to be there, that square. We could also go to the Ruined Dungeon, but I'm trying to avoid that for now. The thing always takes a life from me, it seems. Let's go check their runes. The, the shops must have updated by now. I never pay attention to when they actually update. 456 at cooldown 17. Nope, ours are better. Blink rune. What is our blink rune? It's uh, 8 spaces, cooldown 12, and 21%. Uh, range seven, no. They're they're about the same. Biting Gale Rune's pretty good if you if you get used to using that. Sometimes on the rogues, if I'm having an, a rough time in the beginning, I'll get that and Artifice, so I have a bunch of control options. All right, I am ready. Do I still have my silencing torque? I don't know if I got rid of it or not. Okay. So, the idea is just to go in, silence him, and if it doesn't work, come out. Then we'll keep resting until it actually works. Let's keep, uh... Oh, we never spent our stat points. That was it. I'm pretty sure he's up here. I do not want to keep killing everyone. Is that Urkus's? That is, Urkus the High Tempest Shock. Alright, so what we want to do is get away from him. Jesus. Alright, good. I was stupid and uh, used my... Look at that, one hurricane killed everybody. Uh, I was stupid and used my Shattering Afflictions rune. I don't want to use that until after I cast my Shock. Otherwise, he might put a debuff on me that doesn't allow me to leave the, the area. Is he silenced? Yes. All right. Four turns. 
Impending doom. What the hell? How's he still getting hurricane on me? I wonder if I leave and come back, does does his debuffs actually come off? I don't remember. So I want to get this guy out. Pretty sure they do. Yeah, they do. Did you use your disperse magic? No, he used phase door. That's very helpful. Right, I'm going to... No, that costs a soul, so... I'm not going to bother trying to keep him invulnerable. Well, actually, you know what? Yes, I am. Let's go out. Make him invulnerable. Go back in. And jump away. Come on, use... Did he use it? No, he used Burning Hex. And he killed him. Is that actually going to hit him? I don't see how, but okay. Yeah, we got him. See, when in doubt, just level up beyond what the enemy can handle. <laughs> My skeleton got a good 214 damage hit on, off of him, too. Get away from me. He's gonna kill my my pet was gonna kill me by getting too close. All right, now what that means is we could take one of our. It's probably gonna be. I guess because we have worm nest on, I'll get rid of my blink. Yeah, that's probably the best plan. Cause otherwise, I mean, I don't. I shouldn't. I did need three teleports, but I shouldn't. <laughs> uh, dart, uh, from that bee when we fought that bee in the uh, vault earlier. I did need all my teleports, but that, that shouldn't happen. Be careful with these. If they're random bosses, uh, the forearm guys, they can strangle you and keep you in place for a very long amount of time. I think they're called Zorns. There is a mod on here that made them playable, and they've got four arms, which is freaking awesome. Because you can hold four weapons that way. Okay. Nothing. Of course not, it's a low-level zone, and we cleared part of it already, so... Now we go and get our Dispersion Rune. And that will get rid of, if we get lucky, the first cast will get rid of her Eternal Knight. So, that a Rune of Dissipation, whatever. It casts Disperse Magic, so. Um, hopefully it'll get rid of her Eternal Knight. And then, <laughs> I had an extra inscription slot this whole time. Did anyone actually notice? I don't think you did. I didn't notice. Actually, you know what? I do want to keep that that out. Just in case. Put this underneath our bone yard. Because they go together. Okay. Here we go. Ow. What do we got here? Got eh, two lives to work with, so we should be okay. I will stop if she kills me once without breaking a sweat. Oh, there's, there's really no point for me to kill her now, is there? Unless I am going to go Lich. Okay. Got all of our minions out. Let's... I want to get my skeleton on him. Or I want to do a Lord of Bones on my skeleton. Because I don't have a mage out right now. Otherwise, I would do the mage. That's what she said. 
Let's go ahead and get my... I can't go back and forth trying to silence her, so I'm just going to put on my life wand. And I'm going to hopefully just disperse her. And that works. But we'll see. Great. I can't... Oh, there she is. Good. I can't see her. All right. Eternal Knight needs to go. And that's it. Okay, and we got them all. Awesome. All right, now what we need to do is destroy her. So I'm going to rigor mortis. And that almost killed her. Damn, what, what hit her so hard? 163 from my skeleton. There we go. That's why armored skeleton warrior hit her for 549. Jesus. Almost as much as I hit her for. I hit her for 589. And boom. No, nope, that's right. She's got like a negative 1,000 lives. Celia's still beating heart. As you deal the last blow, you quickly carve out Celia's heart for your lich form ritual, carefully weaving magic around it to keep it beating. <laughs> Pets are fighting in rich. So they weren't dying. Used to be pets would decay if they were outside there, necromancers, aura of undeath, which was super annoying for you, but also good. You didn't have to kill the uh, necromancer's pets. You could just kill him, and then they would pretty much die without him. All right, let's go see if we can do the ritual now. I don't think so. I think we got to have the prodigy, but I never remember the actual steps for this got a thousand energy I think that's uh, quite enough have completed the ritual uh, do I have to talk to him you asked me to come about a far portal yes you asked me to come about the rod of recall yeah, go ahead and do it that way. It'll teleport us back to here. Training facilities, yes. And that's it. And he battle called me. Awesome. And I can't teleport. Awesome. I think carry on feet doesn't count as a teleport, though. It's like a dash. Same with ooze walk, if I remember right. You can ooze walk in places where you can't teleport. What did we get? Ooh, we got a tier th four or five pickaxe. That could be good. What is it? Nope. Spell crit, 3% chance. And some movement speed, that's it. Why can't I use this? Do I have to be level 40? Or do I have to have a prodigy point? Let me see real quick. Once learned, the next time you are killed, the arcane forces you unleash will be able to rebuild your blade, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I don't... Is a living creature that knows necromancy have completed the ritual? I think... Uh, let me look one more time. I think I just need to be level... F or I think I need to have a prodigy point ready. So let's go ahead and go to the ruined dungeon. Hopefully we can get... I want to get the Lich before I go against the Master, because I'm probably going to... I'm not not necessarily going to die against him, but I might. So, I might as well be ready for it. Or use the death to my advantage. If you're having trouble finishing the Alchemist quests, you can always do it in the Ruined Dungeon. Just completely... or com continuously fail the puzzle, and it'll uh, spawn new enemies endlessly good job pets Okay. Wow, 
Why can't I move? Oh, because I'm dazed. That would make sense. Don't know if we're going to get enough experience by doing this to get to level 42. I'm guessing not. Man, I am uh, really liking this uh, skeleton warrior, Lord of Lord of Bones. He is actually pretty good. Where did that thing go? It teleported, but I don't know where it is. It was a curse, and it almost killed me. You can use the uh, these signs to kind of tell how you're supposed to do it the puzzle here I'll, I'll show you how there's an inscription here the feather flies gently in the wind so something windy and then after that the tree roots run deep so something earthy so wind and then earth this one is the eldritch force and then burns so uh, eldritch magic and then burning i don't actually know which order they go in though i i, I assume it's right to left but i don't actually know I almost always just brute force it. Let's go ahead and rigor mortis him. Then bane this guy. Get out of... No, that's my bane. I was going to say get out of his bane. Um, kill this Zorn. Some guys right in front of me. They didn't get right in front of me. It's so much different playing with uh, teleporting, like as a teleporting heavy class. I just almost always try not to. Even with an arc mage, like movement is my first, uh, my first resort. I wouldn't use my teleport unless I actually needed to, because you don't know that it's going to save you. It could fizzle, or it could randomly take you somewhere you didn't want to go with with the actual teleport spell. Phase door is my second resort, and then teleport is my very last resort. Temporal Warden up there. I saw his doggies. Tried playing Oxygen Not Included recently. So it's pretty fun. I think it's more fun in a way that it's like fun making builds rather than actually surviving because, you know, you can get a survivable base with like three different duplicates. So from there, I, I wish there was a story. There might be, but I'm, I don't really see it. It's like, oh, hey, go here and do this. And then make that hard because, I don't know, there's lava in the way or something. I don't like just building for the sake to build. All right, we got a shadow blade right here. So I'm going to focus on him. The pets, oh, oh wow, something happened. I'm not exactly sure what, but they're both dead now. Oh, he might have time stopped me. That's probably what it was. You know what? We have dispersion rune. I don't know why I haven't been using it more often. Or dis, uh, rune of dissipation. See, like that? Burning Wake, that's bad. Arcane Power, that's bad. Wildfire, that's bad. Disruption Shield, that's bad. Spellcraft, I don't care about that. That just lets him not get hit by his own spells. But, boom. Now he's just been somewhat neutered. He's still dangerous, but less so. Get rid of that confusion. Keep blowing him up. All right, 68%. Spell. Nier's memory, um, I think it's a belt that gives us 
Oh, what? You like your doggies? Well, I don't. Disperse. Dissipate. It's a belt that gives you a shield, I think, near his memory, but it might be the confusion resistance one. It is a belt, though. Blue belt with little white dots on it. Where are you? Yeah. Okay, it does give you a shield, and it gives you confusion and stun resistance. Yeah, that's not bad. What does ours give us? I think I'm going to use that. Confusion immunity and stun immunity. And I get some mana back when firing critical spells. What am I giving up? I'm giving up 9 armor, 36 mana, and some magic. Not a lot, though. 6 magic. Yeah, let's go ahead. Why not? I'm, I'm done with this uh, shield belt anyway. Oops, I got blocked by the pillar. <laughs> well, my pet killed him, though. I'm always surprised when a pet kills anything past the beginning of the game. But it's actually kind of funny. Um, the Alchemist Golem pet, he is awful. But towards the end of the game, like if you get decent enough equipment, he stays alive fairly well. Like a couple turns, you know? And sometimes he'll just stay alive through a fight, which is pretty amazing. You wouldn't think so playing him through the game because the golem will just get his ass kicked over and over again. But there's some critical mass of stats that uh, that every class will eventually get to where you no longer have to worry about everything killing you all the time. Like it just, I it's very it's hard to explain because I don't know what it actually is. But something happens where you're no longer taking spikes of damage. You're kind of just always taking either a lot or a little damage so it's no longer as worrisome i guess to play through the game for me it normally happens around level 35 depending on the class uh hold on let's go ahead and check these out all right eldritch force burns feather or wind and roots Wind and Roots. Let's try that one first. Floating in the air, wind. So no, that's not right. So it needs to be Eldritch Force. Burns. I think that was it. Yeah. Swirls with magical energies. That's the Eldritch. And that didn't work either. So we got to go find the other one. Is it this one? River flows in a bed of stone. So water and then stone. So drips with water. Was this it? Yes. Drips with water in a bed of stone. Small seeds covered in dust. That's that. Then wind and wind and earth, right? And then eldritch burns. Magical energy. Fire burns. Fire burns, air blows. <laughs> Anybody's ever seen uh, The Fifth Element? Hope you caught that reference. I'm not a very hot girl saying it though, so it's probably not as not as uh, cool sounding. Gwise Burninator. This is a fun one. You don't actually have to wear it to use it. 420, 473 fire damage, and I don't even have any plus fire abilities so we'll take it out and you don't even have to wear it so just move it to your normal in inventory jaw of rogroth uh, maximum souls plus three spell power five spell crit five percent it can be used to deal darkness damage equal to your equal to 350 percent of your spell power to a target and if it kills the target re restores 15 percent max hp and all resources except paradox and equilibrium i wonder if it actually works for uh Souls, we will try it. It's actually a belt. I tried to put it on something else. Mirror Image Rune, this is really good. Um, it basically creates copies of you and they taunt enemies and they taunt right after you summon them too. So like, uh, 
I w if I had one life and there were enemies everywhere, I wouldn't trust that to save me. But if I had one, if I had two hundred life, like enough to survive some AOE or dot damage, then I would trust it to keep me alive. But then also after that, it'll keep you alive too. So. Shielding rune, and the real rune. I don't think I've ever looked at one of these on camera, so let's check it out. Activate the rune to become ethereal for five turns. While ethereal, all damage you deal is reduced by 50%. You gain 27% all resistance, and you move 64% faster. And you are invisible. The invisible part doesn't really matter because it's only power 20, but um, the 27% uh, 20, all resistance and 64% faster, that's that's okay. But really, if you're going to use something to be faster, six. 64% isn't enough, so you wouldn't be able to, you'd have to pair that with something else like our, the the other move we have that increases our movement speed. Because 64%, that's, that's not even enough to guarantee you another turn, like two movement turns per action for them. Thirty spell power, not bad, but nothing else that we could use. Okay, so we are at eighty-eight percent. Where else can we go to get some experience? Bulbum's big knocker. This is good for a channel staff build because if you could see, it uses stat one hundred and forty percent magic. So you can actually get pretty high channel staffs. Like I think fifteen hundred is the highest I've heard. I the highest I've ever gotten is like eight or nine hundred with it though. I was a cultist naysayer at first, but they are really good if you get far, far enough. Do we have anything in here that we want? No. Okay. So where are we going? Uh, I could do a far portal, but that would not, that would probably not be good. Where else could we go? I'm pretty sure I've done everything. I didn't do the dark crypt. I didn't do the god feed, the god feaster. Doing a patrol would probably be suicide. Santa escape. There we go. We can do Santa escape. Do we have, oh, we have a level we haven't spent. Where are we gonna put it at? I, I keep forgetting where we started putting it and then I can't remember where. Oh yeah, Grim Shadow. This is up, this is 1% more, well, 0.9% more resist all, but no. See, this gives us four turns of 24% uh, damage reduction. That's it's not enough because remember we're teleporting into danger to get you. Well, I guess we could still use it. Hold on. Okay. That is that is not what it sounded like. Damage it's it has a 24% chance to pass through you. So 24% basically evasion. Hmm. I guess yeah, that's pretty good, but it could not it's got 3 times the chance not to work at all, so I am running out of places to put my points. Well, let's just let's get our uh, ghost walk up to range ten at least. That's something 
everyone can agree on. It's decent enough. What do we got here? That is a Rand boss, so I'm not going to go around the corner to find him. I'm going to let him come to me. Let's uh, disperse him before he rigor mortises me, because he was a skeleton, or a necromancer, a skeleton master. Can't move. He teleported away as well. Yeah, uh, the hardest part is not having a single two clue about the talents. Yeah, it takes practice. More than that, I think I have to go read up. I guess the tool tips can be kind of confusing. I got a few wrong as well my first time around. Which I did, and then I made a video about it with those wrong things inside of it. <laughs> All right, we leveled up, we are level 42. See, can we take this now? No, we can't, but we should be able to go there and do the ritual, right? I'm going to put, uh, no, because he can headshot me over my minion, so I just need to get away. Then we can summon our trees to stop him and shoot around the corner. Of course, he is an ice elemental, and he looks exactly like an ice elemental, so why would my ice spell hurt him? I'm a dummy. S on the class side, that is okay. I'm certain I got stuff wrong already at level 2 because I spread my points out. On the class side, that is okay. On the uh, generic side, it's a little. It's, you probably need to put. Before the prophecies do anything, you probably need to level up quite a few together. But at least on the class side, you can spread stuff out. Alright, I'm going to impending doom him, get rid of his reality smearing and energy decomposition, otherwise, I'm never going to be able to hurt him. And then uh, blow him up with rigor mortis. Let's try to bane them. All right, he should die. So I'm going to focus on this guy. Nope, he is... He's a rogue slash arcane blade, so let's get away from him. Why is burninate him? How hard did it hit? 419, not bad. Get a boneyard out. I guess he's not close enough. I need to kill the target with this, right? Yes. Uh, he's close enough. 274 plus 40. This might kill him. It did. 458. Was that a crit? No, it wasn't. All right. So what did that do, actually? Healed me for 224. Damn it. I didn't even look. I didn't even look how many souls I had. <laughs> That's a run killer. He's uh, Gandalf is gonna open the digestive sack he found in the maggot, which is not. I do it too, but it's probably not the best idea. Because if you get a ran boss, it's a complete crapshoot whether or not you can actually kill it. Like it's not your skill that's gonna kill the thing. It's gonna be did you get lucky enough to get something you can kill? Come on. Stop using Chill of the Tomb. Mm. 
Why can't I reach my guy? Didn't think I was in the... Didn't think I was frozen, but I guess I was. Here. There. Now you're a Lord of Bones. Oh, there's someone in there. Okay. Shield, step back. Rigor Mortis. And Torture Soul. And Jaw of Rogue Roth. I'm going to put it over here just so I don't forget to use it. Crimson Robe. Is that one that might be decent for us? One of them procs Blood Grasp. I think that's the Black Robe. There's the level portal. Man, this was a bad level for me to do. Can't use half my damaging spells. Well, I can't use my big damaging spell that makes farming regular mobs easy. And these, the freaking glacial vapor is so annoying. That's why I can't rest and just automatically go because their glacial vapor lasts for a little while and it and it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it stops you from uh, resting. All right, freeze winnow. Nah, nope. It's got some crit on it, which is okay. 81 life, that's not bad. Plague fire scepter, this one's fun. Um, it it basically, you, you can use it to cast a dot on an enemy. And then I think it spreads if you, after you kill that mob. No, no, no. Oh, that's too bad. Tier 5 weapons, but nothing I could really use. Nope, this is the Solipsism robe, so it's not the one we can use. Nothing. Decayed Visage, I think that is also... No, it's a Corruptor and Reaver one, but not good enough for us. Decent amount of stats, 13 strength, 13 constitution, 9 cunning, 40 life, but what does ours do? 120 life and some some armor. So we'll stick with ours. It would have been a sideways upgrade anyway. It's unfortunate. Lots of possibilities for good ones, but it can be used to heal yourself and all friendly creatures, characters within 10 spaces for 680. All right, that's where we're going to leave it for now. Um, we're almost at an hour. So uh, we will pick this back up tomorrow. Uh, and yeah, we're definitely going to kill the, the master next episode. As long as we, uh, as long as Santa doesn't end our run and his dirty little elves. But uh, all right, we'll see you guys next time. If you see anything you like, leave a like or comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. And uh, we'll see you later. Take it easy.